They are both at the top of the Kenyan politics. They also have in common to be indicted by the International Criminal Court. Now they are signing a deal to run together for next election. Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto will be running on the same ticket. Kenyatta is a leading figure in the Kukuyu in Kenya, being the son of the country's first president. Ruto is a former minister from the Kalenjin tribe, dismissed after repeated accusation of corruption. They now promise an alliance that would put an end to ethnic hatred. From the time we were falsely accused, we stood in front of the nation and the world and said, we are determined to follow due process and to follow the law to clear our names. That, my friends, does not mean that we must be denied our rights. Under our leadership and watch, never again will blood be shed, property destroyed, on account of political competition. The agreement was announced in Nakuru in the Rift Valley, where post-electoral violence was the highest in 2008. It states that Kenyatta will run for president and Ruto vice president. But according to analysts, despite their popularity, victory is not yet closer. Well, we're not there yet. They're not, they've not been elected. They've not won the election. Um, so they still have to fight an election. And I think that is going to be their biggest challenge. Because all that uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto have done is consolidate what they presume to be their support base. They are yet to speak to the rest of the country and present their platform. Another obstacle is that the ICC might issue arrest warrants against the two indicted candidates. If the court issues arrest warrants against the two individuals, that will have huge implications for the country because it will be a signal to now the rest of the world that the leadership of Kenya are wanted suspects, criminals, accused people. And therefore, there will be questions asked in different capitals on the continent in Africa and also in the world about whether those countries can do business with Kenya. Kenya's presidential and parliamentary elections are scheduled in March 2013. The country has voted on a new constitution in August 2010 in order to avoid repeating a terrible and violent scenario during the polls. But recently tensions and violence have occurred in the north and along the Indian Ocean coastal region.